welcome to my channel. Today we are going to work on a project which will be really fun to work. We are going to see how evolution of a website works on AWS and we are going from single server to serverless. A nice cream company hires us to create and maintain their website. We are going to follow the growth of the business and how it evolves their website infrastructure. We will start by creating the company's website hosted on S3 that displays the ice cream flavors. When the business starts gaining popularity among the locals and the flavors start to sell out before the day is up, the business owner asks us to migrate to a server where they can have us push update. They decide to migrate their static site to S3 with Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, Lambstack. This will allow the website to update and react dynamically. Demand for the shop ice cream surges after a viral video and the infrastructure and maintenance becomes difficult to manage. To scale with demand, we will suggest migrating sections of their LAMP stack to serverless service. Starting with the MySQL database, the MySQL database will be replaced with Amazon DynamoDB serverless data. So now we are going to complete all these tasks in three sections. First, we are going to upload files to Amazon S3 to host a static website. Secondly, we will migrate dynamic website hosted on EC2 from using a MySQL database using Amazon DynamoDB. And last, we will update the DynamoDB table with a new ice cream flavor. So let's get started. We need to upload static website content, so we'll go to S3. If you don't have a bucket, you will create one. I'm just going to upload in this one and click upload and take the files from my folder, from my computer, add a folder and images is added in as a folder. Now I have these three and upload. Now that it's uploaded, let's close down and go to properties and scroll down. Static website hosting, this is enabled. I'm just going to take this one, copy and see if it's ready. Yes, um, it is already up. Now let's go to EC2 instances. There should be there is the EC2 instance running for the ice cream website. Dynamic. This is the static website. Let's go to instance and copy the public IP address. And try this one as well. Yes, it is also running. So now we are going to uh, create a DynamoDB table. Um, and we need to create more flavors. So let's get, go to DynamoDB. On the tables, products, export table items. We don't have any items. Now we can create an item value. This will be one, add new attribute string, product flavor. Let's add cinnamon spice chocolate, a new attribute again string, price and 7.99, great item. So now we need to update our website to use DynamoDB. Let's go to EC2. Connect to the instance. Connect. Let's migrate this website. And we can now refresh and see if it's working. It is not showing um, it's not showing the flavors. The 
only problem is that I don't see the Dynamo DB flavors table D flavors here, and I will figure it out why. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.